Thank you very much. Uh, MTN Ivory Coast uh, is, is a local mobile phone operator. Um, the group MTN, South African based group, bought uh, a local mobile operator, Telecel, in 2005 uh, and transformed it into MTN Ivory Coast. We, are, we started as a mobile phone operator, but we have been evolving over the past few years into internet, uh, fixed lines, uh, mobile banking. So all those new activities uh, have actually transformed uh, a, a mobile operator into much more of a global telecom player in, in Ivory Coast. Uh, we are leading the market with about 40% uh, market share uh, in Ivory Coast. Uh, and we are constantly developing uh, new applications because we really believe uh, with our African vision, with our origins in South Africa, uh, that we are a company who, who should contribute to the, the, the broader development of, uh, of the countries in which, we are, in which we are operating. Well, first of all, it's, 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 it's always a survival of the fittest. Huh? In, in every market, I think at the end of the day, it's the, the economy, the economic laws uh, you can never fool them. I think we, we all see it, whatever is happening, even in the world, the world economy, uh, at the end of the day, the economic laws uh, get their way, one way or the other. So I think the, 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 the seven licenses uh, was a bit too ambitious uh, for, 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 for this country, for the size of the, and the potential of this country. So the market automatically gets into a phase where it, where it is or will auto-regulate itself. Uh, and obviously we will remain with a, with a few very strong players who, who will offer first-class services. And obviously MTN wants to remain the leader in that space. Uh, and we, and we, are, we are investing because it, it, it goes through investment. You can't deliver the quality of service that is required uh, if you don't put investment in the ground. So everything starts with a proper investment, with a proper strategy, and we are investing. We have invested a lot in, in the past since we bought Telecel in 2005, and we are continuing to invest. Uh, we are deploying a lot of fiber, we are deploying new networks, we are eagerly waiting for the 3G license that we can, that we can also deploy equipment for, for 3G, and, and all that will allow, it will allow people to have better access and cheaper access. What, what we are doing currently in the market uh, is, 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 is a continuation of what we have done for many years. We have been a mobile player, but now we are evolving in the space of a global player, which means that we are doing internet, we are doing fixed lines, not just the copper lines. We are not in copper line business, we're in fiber fiber to the building business. We are bringing fiber into the, the big offices in Abidjan so that they can connect directly point to point with whatever office anywhere else in the world via a, a reliable fiber optic connection. But we are also moving on in, in, the, in the banking space. You know, in Africa, uh, the, the banking penetration is very low. There, there are 10 times more people who have a, a mobile phone account than a bank account. Okay. So that opportunity is there for mobile, mobile phone players to enter that space, the banking space, uh, and offer mobile banking services. Not the mobile banking services that we know in Europe, where people will be send a message and say, OK, you, your, your credit has gone down or your, you, you, somebody has made a payment into your account. No, that's not the kind of mobile banking we're talking about here. We're talking about people using their mobile phone to transfer money, to cash in money. Uh, and we have just launched a very, very innovative uh, uh, project with the World Food Program. The World Food Program, Ivory Coast, uh, has entered into an agreement with us. And we are using, we are using uh, 50,000 50, uh, telephone lines to transfer uh, on a monthly basis, uh, an allowance that the World Food Programme has made available for families, poor families that cannot afford to, to buy the necessary food. So they're doing cash transfers using our mobile money service and 50,000 people in Ivory Coast for the next two months will benefit, they will recover the money in our mobile money cash out points. They will take their, I think it's about 75, it's 75 dollars per month. They will go with their mobile phone to one of our mobile money uh, cash out points. They will 
take the $75 and it will allow them to buy food on, on, into the market uh, and, and sustain, would I say, the, the, the necessary food for their families. So that is one of the, one of the innovations where you see that, that we are changing lives because we are allowing uh, technology to, 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 empower, to empower people and we are making technology available for the interest of what is really required in these kind of economies, which can be very different from what in other parts of the world is required. So it's all about uh, adapting technologies into the local situation, the local needs, and making them available at a reasonable cost to the population. That is really what MTN is all about. We, we are African. Our, we are present in 21 countries in Africa and the Middle East. Uh, our, our objectives really is to make MTN uh, a player that contributes to the development uh, and the success of this continent.